Good morning, YouTube. It's um. I don't even know. Oh shit. Uh, hold on a second. Let me uh. I gotta get this other shit off of here right quick. Ah, oh, stop. Go away. What did I do? <laughs> me and my gadgets. <laughs> Ah, I love it. Anyway, <laughs> you just can't make it up. Oh, that number follows me. What can I say? 555 has followed me <clears throat> since my earliest memory. I had a 66 Impala with a 396 white with turquoise interior one of those little old lady cars man i'm a big block chevy what can i say i used to take it to car shows back in the day and on the license plate was 555 and i didn't even trip on it or, or pay it no never mind back then but i got a photo of that car and i saw in the in the photo on the license plate 555 the address to the tattoo shop 555 it's I could go on and on and on about 555. Anyway, that's not what this is about. So I'm sitting here. The sun's just starting to come up. Getting the coffee going. Girlies are being lazy. They haven't been, even been out yet. Seasons are changing. Windows are all frosted up because it's cold outside. You can hear the heater going. Change is in the air. Leaves falling off the trees. I start thinking about how cold it gets here where I live. I moved in in winter, in the middle of fucking winter. Circumstances beyond my control wasn't how I planned it. But irregardless, I landed here and... I got to see 25 below. There's a video up here when I first got here. You can see it for your damn self. Thermostat outside. Thermometer, excuse me, not thermostat. Thermometer outside, 25 below. All right, Icicles fucking pointing sideways off the roof. Oh, crazy, right? Running the Harley when it's below zero. It was cool. So anyway, seasons are changing. I'm getting ready for the cold weather, right? I'm seeing what I need to plow. I need to make sure I got openings for the uh, propane guy to fill the propane tanks. Those pathways need to remain clear so homie can get to the tanks to fill them up. And so I'm already starting to prepare for winter. And uh, it hit me like a ton of bricks about what's gonna go down in Europe come winter. Putin already said it, that they're going to have a cold winter. He already warned them. He's cutting them off. <clears throat> they don't have the capacity. People in Germany are already chopping up trees and fucking stocking up on firewood. People in the States don't understand what's going on. Most people in the States aren't paying that close attention. Because they don't really talk the hard shit on the stock market channel or your local news. They don't talk about this stuff. YouTube, -y, I got a bunch of redacted. That's a great YouTube channel. I'll find one of their videos and I'll link it below in the comment section. And uh, the shit that's going, the shit that's coming to Europe, when it gets 25 below and they don't have no fucking gas coming out of their fucking no hot air <clears throat> coming out of their floor registers like I do right now. You're fucked. If my propane guy doesn't bring me propane, I'm fucked, right? Then all of a sudden I start thinking about fucking the anniversary that just passed, right? buildings that fell down in NYC and 
the reason I'm so positive things didn't go down the way they said they went down, the number one thing that screams at me more than anything else, being on a job site, I've seen guys with jackhammers breaking up concrete. See, in a building, you got metal floor, pan, and then they put rebar, and then they fucking put concrete, and it's like this fucking sandwich. Uh, steel, uh, rebar, and mixed in concrete, and it just fucking, it's all fucking stuck together, right? Because on the pan on the floor are little studs that come up. So everything's bound together. If you ever try to demolition a floor in a high rise, it's a motherfucker, man. On that day, on that anniversary that just passed, right? I'm trying not to use these words, right? Because they fucked that last video. Anyway, you cannot turn concrete into powder, powder, talcum powder. There was powder all over the fucking city. Should have been big chunks with steel stuck in it everywhere. Big chunks. And when it went, <whistles> motherfucker, you got steel like this, right? Going to the sky. Then you got layers of this concrete floor, steel pan shit, right? In between all of these. Well, what should have happened was <whistles> stack of pancakes. All those floors should have landed on top of each other and should have been a big fucking leaning tower, a piece of, of fucking concrete floors all stacked on top of each other not turned into fucking powder motherfucker you cannot turn concrete into powder stamp mill you know like in a gold rush time when they smashed up the fucking quartz rocks right to get the gold out those fucking floors in those buildings were turned to fucking dust motherfucker you cannot do that and the metal in the basement that was still liquid I can't use the word. <sighs> a very teeny, tiny, tiny size. Real, fuck it, nanothermite. Look that up. That'll get this video fucked now. Anyway, that's what was going on in the basement with the metal. Chemical reaction. And I can go on and on. Pentagon, how come there was no scars from the wings when they hit the Pentagon? There was a perfect round fucking hole. How come there's no video footage from in front of the Pentagon still to this fucking day? Showing the fucking plane crashing. Motherfucker. Building 7. When it dropped and it wasn't hit by nothing but debris and was caught on fire. And it had two creases. The sides went click. And that motherfucker fell at free fall speed. Once again, you can't turn all those floors into fucking powder. You can't do that. Without explosives. Those airplanes didn't have explosives on every fucking floor for, for it to go down the way it went down. That was all prepared ahead of time. Do you understand premeditation? Do you understand who, who, who could have done that? Right? You don't, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to accept it. Well, don't, motherfucker, don't. But I'll tell you what. Every day I get up, part of my <laughs> morning routine is to be ready, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if I'm in the country or not, but I'm going to be ready. This thing about the war and the cold right now coming to Europe, I got the sadness on me this morning telling me, oh fuck, dude. This is like what happened on that anniversary day. But it's slow motion. What, what's about to unfold is gonna trigger, I don't even wanna say, it. I don't even wanna breathe life into it. But my gut tells me we could be looking at a real WW3, right? I can't, man, I, it just boggles my mind in this day and age that, I, you know, we could really be looking at some foul shit like that. But if you think about 
<laughs> the dipshits in our country shipping immigrants to the fucking vice president's house and shit and and rightfully so good for them fucking pour it on man absolutely because those are the motherfuckers that created the fucking problem so let them take care of the people that are flooding into the country that they they're, they're welcoming with open arms right well good then you fucking scoop them up and feed them and keep them warm right why is that burden got to fall on some fucking rancher down in Texas or Arizona or some shit? Fuck you. You know, well, come here, Kimba. Look, you're all nervous for Papa. You you just won't let me make my fucking video. <laughs> you're going to have to sit down. You're going to have to. <laughs> She's dad. You're getting too wound up. Look, you're not going to stop me from making my video. So you might as well lay down. Okay. Can you lay down, please? Please, pretty please. Good girl. Come on, lay down. <laughs> Come on, Kimba. Come on. You're not in trouble. Come on. Just <clears throat> She so wants to shut me up. Because she sees me get worked up, right? So anyway. When I think about the, the freezing ass people. Kimba, I can't do this with you there. It just, I can't. Sorry, little one. <laughs> yeah. Because I just want to love on her. I can't think about what I got to say. And what I got to say is important. Sorry. I'll scoop you up in a second. She's giving me the fucking pouty eyes. She wants to be on Papa's lap. So anyway, when these people start freezing over in Europe and everybody starts flipping out and Putin and China are laughing and India are laughing, the BRICS are laughing. They're already talking about, they've got their gold back currency set up. China's been hoarding gold forever. Russia pulls the shit right out the ground. Russia's loaded with gold. So, things start to change and your dollar can't buy shit at the store, you think it's bad now? Hyperinflation, real true hyperinflation, right? A grocery cart full of shit, Zim, Zimbabwe, right? Where you fucking, you can't buy nothing because your dollars are no good, right? That's when Johnny Silver Dimes are gonna come in way handy if shit gets that fucking foul. And, and like I said, I think that is a one in a million shot, but Motherfucker, I know what happened on that anniversary day. And they pulled the trigger on some fucking something and it and it sets in motion WW3 and that's what they want anyway, right? Because wars make money. People get rich off of war. The Halliburtons of the planet. Like I said, we're pawns in a much bigger game. And most you people are just asleep on the fucking checkerboard, right? You don't give a fuck. Just shove you around. Just You're just going to go wherever the fuck they tell you to go. Right to the fucking gas chamber. I ain't saying it's going down like that, but it has in the past. You know this, right? So don't be fucking naive. And this is screaming at me, man. This cold weather just got me thinking about how quickly things are going to unfold, right? When days turn into weeks of cold, 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 people die. You can't get heat, people die. Freeze to death. Man. Putin has a weapon of mass destruction. It's that fucking pipeline. And Europe knows it. They're tripping balls. And like I said, you're not going to see it on our TV. But you watch Redacted and there's other YouTube channels that are global, right? They're not glued to fucking CNN's butthole, right? I'm telling you, man, some foul shit's coming besides my mouth. It gets me 
wound up. It gets me angry, right? You can see it on me. You can see it in my demeanor. Even I'm all fucking clenched up, right? Because <laughs> the, 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 fo the frosted windows, this cold weather, and then all of a sudden I'm just tripping balls. It's like when the booger kicked off, I was tripping balls for the homeless people starving to death. And look at all the 10 cities now. Right, so there will be coal in your fucking stocking on Christmas, right? You wish you had some coal to fucking heat these motherfuckers' houses over in Europe, right? These snowflakes with their fucking electric car bullshit and cutting off all the oil production and all the shit they've been talking about. And we've been giving our oil reserves to China, Look that one up. Your president, your liberal ass president. Yeah, I'm picking on the libs today because they've created a lot of this fucking shit that's going on, right? Obama got it started during his fucking reign on the throne, right? He was letting the Chinese come into the United States and gobble up factories where before it was illegal for a foreign entity to buy um, businesses and commercial real estate. Now they can buy commercial real estate, they can buy residential real estate, they can buy corporations, homie. Look at how many pork <laughs> processing plants that China owns in the United States. And you know what they do with that pork? They send it back to China. You know, part of California's water problem is it's used for agriculture down in the southern basin. And they're growing alfalfa for critters, cattle and shit in China. They're not that 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 water is growing crops that are being used to feed animals outside this country. Look it up for your damn self if you don't believe me. All of these things are just little Johnny Appleseeds food for thought, right? So you think for your damn self and maybe you decide to go get a pistol for yourself for home protection. Or maybe you decide to get an extra case of ammo for it just in case, whatever, man. I think I'd start with home safety and once you feel comfortable with what you got there, I'd make sure you got the essentials, man. Plenty of it. Food, food, food. Food that you can keep for a long time. Because it's going to get expensive. It's not like it ain't going to be there, but it's going to be hella expensive, man. If people freeze to death in Europe... You heard it here first. It will trigger a great depression that will be global. And the ones that will prosper from it, the ones that will come out on top first will be China and Russia because they control the fuel. They've already got their banking infrastructure bullshit ready to go outside of the fucking United States and all of our allies, right? You know, every dog has his day. And if our generation right now is the one that has to live through the shift, right? Where the, the, the shift goes to China, they become the new world power, right? They're the new bully on the block and the U.S. ain't the new bully on the block. Now they're scratching to hang on to second, right? We're never going to be a third world country by no means. There's no way. We have too much. But we could lose hold of the presidency, right? We basically run the planet. Everybody does what the United States tells them to do, except for Russia, China, right? India don't listen to us. They do they do they they might listen to England because they're a colony of England, right? I think there's still a colony. Uh, you know, I, I'm not big on all that world 
politics bullshit. I just know the shift is now. The queen is dead. There are so many things I could point at, but the one thing that I, you can't turn concrete into powder. And there's another, <laughs> there's gonna be another day like that. It might not be buildings falling out of the fucking sky, but there's gonna be another day where you're gonna be like, holy shit, Johnny was right. If we get all the way through the fucking holidays, come February 1, and it's the same old bullshit, I will, I will be so apologetic that I had it way wrong and that clearly these motherfuckers are just going to keep grinding this fucking thing into the ground and it'll take forever. And you won't have shit to worry about, right? Boo, boo, boo. It'll be just everything is everything. I don't think so. I don't think so. But if we get through the holidays and the people over in Europe, we get through the winter and they don't freeze to death, right? Get to next spring and everything's cool. Well, hey, fuck, I guess we're all right then. I'll be glad to say I got it wrong. Trust me. Migrants. Dumping migrants on the front lawn of politicians, right? Chicago, the purge. Letting people out of jail for violent fucking felonies and stuff. It's crazy. All of these weird ass fucking things all going on at the same time. Right? What happened to monkeypox? Now they're talking about some other bullshit. I thought I heard polio popping up again or some fucking shit. Go get your jab, homie. Motherfucker, boy. <whistles> See, I got a lot of time on my hands, right? I watch, whether it's YouTube -y, or it's the television, or it's the gossiping in the neighborhood, right? Oh, and on that front, I got lucky. The whole Harley fucking rally thing was a yawner. The, yesterday was quiet. Last night was quiet. You know, very few bikes. I was like, fuck, man. So I don't know what downtown was like, but I didn't need to park my truck in the driveway. Nobody was going to come driving down my driveway. But if it was a lot of traffic, you know, people fucking just... You, ah, can I use your restroom? Right? That kind of fucking thing, man. People are stupid. Be pissing on your lawn all drunk. Yeah, trust me. I've seen some shit. <laughs> A real fucking biker rally, homie. <laughs> uh, anyway. You want to come back up here, little dog? I'll wrap it up. Come here. Come here, Kinky. It's all right. Come on. It's all right. Come here. Instantly, I get this little doggy in my lap. I melt like butter. That's why I can't talk and do a video when she's on my lap. Because she's just like, oh, she gets all my attention. I can't think. And that's a good thing. That's, you know, she takes me out of my memory lane. All I want to do is cuddle, right? On a little one. She's like, well, why don't you shut up and quit talking to that thing? Oh, your breath. Your breath is just roses. <laughs> mm -hmm. little girl. You having a good life? Hmm? Little dog, are you having a good life? Always ask her, are you having a good life? That's what's important to me. It should be to you too, your children, right? They should be your everything. I blew it with my kid. I didn't break the curse. I hope she's able to. 
nice thing is I learned how to be human again. You know what I'm saying? This dog taught me how to not hate, right? I was a hater, bitter, really, really bitter. And it wasn't until recently that I start to get my anger in check, take responsibility for my anger. You know, before it was your fucking fault. You guys are the ones that got me mad. You're the ones that fucked me up. You're the ones that did this. You're the ones that did that. It's all your fault. But the problem is, it doesn't matter whose fault it is when I'm the angry one, right? I'm the one acting like an asshole. And usually it's at somebody who's got nothing to do with what got me mad, right? <laughs> and then that's how the fucking cycle just keeps going and going and going. Yeah. You just, she's like, Papa, you just have to stop. Yeah. Look at you. You're so precious. You're so precious. You love your Papa, huh? You love your Papa. Huh, Kimba? You love your Papa? I love you. Yeah. You can't make that up, man. You cannot make, uh, <laughs> I am so calm. What did Dave call it? Your body releases these endorphins, right? When you're loving on something, right? That natural high. And it's true, man. You get your little critter in your lap and you do a little snuggle and all of a sudden it's like, oh, you melt like a fucking pussy. <laughs> mm. Just like a sissy, man. Can't be no tough guy when there's a fucking doggy in your lap. No yelling, no screaming, no hollering. Right. Well, what do you think, young lady? Mm hmm? What do you think? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you for the loving. I appreciate you. All right, that's what these people up here say. I appreciate you. All right, y'all. On that note, me and Kimba appreciate you. You guys have a great day. Much love and respect as always. From me, Kimba, and Mayan. She's over there panting because she's under the covers too hot. Uh, love the ones that love you back. Do your best with the rest. Don't let the children hear the bad caca. <laughs> All that crazy concrete to powder, right? But I know for a fact you cannot turn concrete to powder. <laughs> Fucking Johnny, shut up. All right, y'all. Have a great day. We'll talk soon. Peace.